Almost done for the night. Aren't you new? Started last week. Cleaning supplies are on the second floor. Remember, you're not allowed in the offices unescorted. I know. Thank you. Have a nice evening. Keep your head down. Understood. We had a bomb scare yesterday. I had. Well, what about? We had the Met everywhere for over an hour. All the bankers outside in the rain. Who calls in a bomb threat in the Canary Corps? I'm the Some desperate sod who lost his pension savings on bad investments. I can almost sympathize. Glad I'm not outside in that shit. Gotta find it on the network. I'll take care of it. Server room looks clear. Great. Plug me in and we'll see if this decryption key is good. Thank you. 
Castle, I have the financial transaction records. Next stop is the archive. Understood, Condor. towards the archive. This will be a pretty cold approach, but if you can get the name of the guy at the security desk, I'll try to find his pressure point. Good evening. Good evening, miss. I'm sorry, but the cleaning crew is not allowed down here. Are you John Smith? Smith? Uh, no, my name is Peter McCallan. Peter McCallan. I see, okay. I don't think we even have a John Smith here. What is this about? Are you always on this post? Yes, I'm always on this post. Every Monday, the archive room is mine. And you weren't told I was coming? I was led to believe that you had been informed. Nobody tells me anything, apparently. Maybe if you would tell me who you are and what you're doing here, we can find out if I can let you into the archive or not. It's come to our attention that your son has tax problems. How could you possibly... Who are you? All I want is to have a quick look at some files. Nothing so dangerous or scary, yes? All right, all right. You can go through. Thank you. And don't go raising any alarms now, or our little secret will get out. This place is big. What am I looking for? Find the cabinet mentioned in the auditor's records and look for the correct drawer. Hope it stops raining before my shift ends. Castle, we have everything we came for. Preparing to exfiltrate the location. Good work. Be careful on your way out. Welcome back. There was a lot of solid intel in the files you sent us from London. We were particularly intrigued by the frequent mention of a group called Adrastea. They seem to be involved in a very diverse range of transactions. We spent the last couple of days digging up any and all mention of Adrastea in the databases we have access to. But very little comes up. It seems elements within CIA and the former KGB know of them. 
This is hard to explain, but it feels like parts of those files have been removed. The few files that mention the group have peculiar holes in them. So whoever they are, they're our main suspect now. The pattern had been very well obfuscated, but each of the payments into the money laundering scheme appears to coincide with a leak. Address to is selling classified information to third parties. Presumably. For now, our primary goal is to find the who and the where. The how and the why comes later. We'll keep digging and let you know once we uncover something actionable. Kozlova, a word before you leave. Yes, sir. You left very little for the authorities to go on in London. Safeguards inspectors are under the impression it must have been an inside job. I'm glad to hear it. We did our best to keep a low profile. This kind of approach is precisely why I chose to put you and Mr. Zimborski in the field. Until we know who our adversary is, we must take great care not to tip our hand. If you keep this up, they'll never see us coming. Thank you, sir. Will that be all? Absolutely. Don't hesitate to come to me if you have any further questions. Coming up with a convincing pretext for you is not a simple matter. I'm not surprised to hear you say that. Mr. Mansour is easy. Put him in a suit, give him the sort of title that makes eyelids heavy. Asset manager, for instance. But you don't look like you belong anywhere important. I don't mean to be flippant, Mr. Gray, but you should have seen me when my hair was spiky. <laughs> yes, well, we appreciate your effort to tone it down. Now, what are you here to see me about? Do we have any information at all on Andrastea? Sarah's team is digging through the archives now and pulling on our contacts within the CIA and the FSB. The only hit we've had so far has been a brief mention buried in a top secret CIA report from the early 80s. So it's some kind of Cold War thing? It could have been around for longer. It's difficult to say. The report was mainly financial and contained no further information about our targets. So what was Absalom's role in all this? It looks like he got set up. He was following the money trail from the drug trade and somebody wanted to stop him. But then why did the authorities kill him? All the Danes knew was that he was spying for a foreign power inside the seat of their government and he was armed and dangerous. They were trying to bring him in for questioning. Based on what you brought back, it seems somebody made Absalom believe it was a hit squad coming to kill him. When they came, he panicked and started shooting. It's hard to accept that a man died because of a misunderstanding. That's the cost of clandestine operations. You have to keep secrets even from the people who are on your side. Sometimes that gets you in trouble. I'll start preparing for the next operation. This may be our first shot at Adrastea. Let's make sure it won't be our last. Sounds like I'm there to got a match on. Miss Kozlova. Good to have you back. You're in a good mood. I had the opportunity to watch you at work in London. Splendid job. I feared Copenhagen might be a fluke, but I'm glad to see you still go out of your way to avoid unnecessary loss of life. As I've said before, I really shouldn't be praised for just not killing people. I know it sounds like faint praise, but I now see why Mr. Gray chose you and Martin as our field team rather than somebody with special forces experience. I thought that was because CIA didn't give us any people. What I'm trying to say is, I'm glad you have a conscience. I hope you'll stick to this approach in the future as well. Hey, I wasn't here to watch your last operation, but I've been told you kicked all sorts of ass. I'm sorry if this sounds ignorant, but I was just wondering. Go on. Ask. I used to do Taekwondo, and I was really into martial arts for a while. <laughs> I've never seen a lady beat a guy in a fight. Well, it's a pretty simple equation. In a fair fight, a good big guy will beat a good small guy. That leaves me two options. I can either be better, or I can make sure it's not a fair fight. Which one is it? When things go according to plan, both. And when they don't? Knife to the heart or carotid artery. Oh. I've been listening to your wire, mostly Josiah's phone calls, and I've discovered something I'm 
Disconcerting. Do tell. Did you know we're not sanctioned? What do you mean? King Bridge does not have official sanction from the highest echelons of the CIA or FSB. But we do have support from both agencies. Not from people with any authority to create this kind of program. In fact, it kind of sounds like nobody has authority to establish something like King Bridge. Then we better hope the higher-ups don't find out. That's putting it mildly. We'd be thrown before the FISA court at the very least. At worst, they'll install us permanently in the CIA's nearest black site. Or left to rot in some prison in Siberia. All of us here, we're committing treason just by associating with each other. I should talk to Josiah about this. Better not. He'll want to know how you've heard about it. Ah, what are we? Есть разговор. Мне пора волноваться? Скорее мне беспокоиться за вас. Я могу дать кучу причин для беспокойства. Какую именно вы выбрали? Похоже, вы отклоняетесь от плана, лишь бы кого-нибудь не убить. А должна убивать? Повторюсь, милосердие — это нормально. Однако меня волнует другое. Способны ли вы отнять жизнь? Мне уже доводилось убивать Радку. Mm, это другое. Однако вы должны без колебаний спустить курок с той лицом к лицу с невинным прохожим, который сможет опознать вас и выдать врагам. Ничего личного, только бизнес. Так что это нечто совсем иное. Я не боюсь убивать, когда это необходимо. Хотелось бы верить. Не позволяйте своей совести мешать выполнению заданий. Это не совесть, это осторожность. В долгосрочной перспективе куда безопаснее оставлять за собой поменьше кровавых следов. Неплохой довод. Впрочем, будущее покажет. Hey, how was Berlin? <laughs> was uh, interesting. It sounded like it would be a milk run. It did, didn't it? Let's just say things didn't go according to plan. We got what we came for, though. We? Uh, yep, I made some new friends. I'll introduce you to them sometime. So enigmatic. How about you? I heard you pulled quite the heist in London. It all went off without a hitch. How is it to work with Martin? He's got my back. Why? He just seems a bit, uh, full of himself. He can be a pain in the ass, but he is good at his job. I'll try to get used to him. The information you uncovered in London has led us to Richard Baxter, a somewhat mysterious and particularly well-connected banker. He's officially employed by Catalyst, but apparently he's never set foot in their building and his name appears almost nowhere in their files. When he does appear, it's usually in private correspondence. And these missives make it pretty clear that he is, in fact, the man controlling the whole money laundering outfit. So he is the source of the leaks. He is getting agents killed when they get too close to his operation? There's only one way to find out. Find him and ask him. Unfortunately, he's a very difficult man to find. In fact, one rather gets the impression that he has extensive experience with tradecraft. He's a spy? Based on the way he covers his tracks, almost certainly. Fortunately, Mr. Zabulka is better at finding people than Mr. Baxter is at not being found. Ha! Huh. You found him, Ratko. He turned out in Poland. I'm pretty well connected in that neighborhood. A lot of people who owe me a favor. Indeed. Mr. Zabulka's connections alerted us that Baxter is attending a party in Warsaw, thrown by a Bulgarian drug lord named Veselin Vadkov. The party's on the 7th. And that may be the only window we'll have for quite some time. Who else is on the guest list? 31 people, mainly Poles and Russians, with a few Germans and Brits bringing the international touch, most with connections to organized crime. We've managed to get an invitation by leaning on a low-ranking member of Vatkov's network. Mansour still has an old CIA identity by the name of Nasir Patel, who we've revived for this operation. Is that safe? Nasir is clean. He had nothing to do with the thing in Mexico. Mr. Patel is a Pakistani black market financier looking to establish a connection into Europe. He'll be accompanied by a Russian call girl named Yulia Seletsnyova. My cover is a prostitute. The guest list doesn't leave as much room to be creative. Every woman there has been hired for the occasion. It's that kind of party. I understand this may feel denigrating. It's fine. Whatever gets us inside with the fewest questions asked. 
Good. Kozlova, you're on point for this one. While Mr. Mansour will provide the distraction, Mansour's call sign is Lancet. The objective is to identify Richard Baxter, isolate him, and interrogate him. Our information indicates that Mr. Baxter will stay the night. So you'll be arriving well after dinner, when many of the guests have left. This narrows down the possibilities. Do we have any idea how this man looks? Unfortunately not. Mr. Baxter is a very enigmatic person. Really? We have nothing on him. Someone at the party must know who he is, considering he appears on the guest list as Richard Baxter. Who knows? Maybe he'll simply introduce himself. Who'll be canvassing the guest then? Me or Katya? You'll both have to work the room. I assume resistance will be pretty low? That cough is an organized crime, and these people don't tend to skimp on security. Worse, if you get caught, they're not simply going to arrest you. Yes, I got a good preview in Mexico of what happens, but I can't show up for the party wearing Kevlar and thigh holster. We've procured a very pretty dress for the occasion. Come on, Cad, it'll be just like in the movies. All right, let's go to Poland. Your plane leaves tonight. Good luck to all of you. You may not feel it, but you look fantastic in that dress. Sarah has good taste in fashion, I admit, but these heels are killing me. Maybe if you tried not walking like you're wearing combat boots. It's not exactly fair that if you want to dress fancy as hell, you can still run without breaking your ankles. All right, guys, get your game faces on. 